Creativity is an addiction. We run to it. We run away from it. We build with it. We try to destroy things with it. It's an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I'm a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. In 2015, I stepped into a very special collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. While there, I did nothing but write, but I always believed in my heart it was, it was never my words. They were the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Well, nearly two years later, God spoke directly into that heart. He said, dude, it's time to grow. Let's get you out there in other collections of trees, mainly your own forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. You see, in every place that I have written, the spirit of Billy's lyrics vibrate the purpose and plan that God has put into play. I never know what I'm going to write about when I enter any forest, which gives us plenty of time to talk about it in the end. Remember, these aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 281, September 25th, 2021. 56 degrees. A new day in this forest. The dry yellow, orange, red, and somewhat green leaves have been thrown about the forest floor. The most interesting thing is the sunlight. Because the umbrella of leaves above have kept so much shade in place. The clearing of the leaves is creating shadows as I write. Well, the creative mind dances with the idea of the shadow being a different spirit. It's holding the writing instrument, not me. We play the same game a lot in the everyday world. Our personalities, they change a lot quicker than Mother Nature's seasons. A bad NFL play on the flat screen Nobody likes seeing their favorite team lose. Well, this forest is my team. With all the animals, the lake, and the beautiful stream, with all the trees, I'm able to believe in why we must learn to love change and why uncertainty has always been a part of our lives. While these trees lose their leaves, shouldn't we as humans do the same? What if our personal growth is creating shade? Doesn't that damage the new growth below? It's an interesting thought, only because as I sit here and look out at this forest this morning from this studio, I'm, I'm actually, we're, we're two stories up above it. So we're in the trees. I see the undergrowth. I see where trees once stood, but Mother Nature said it was time for you to start feeding the soil that's around you. The undergrowth is so important to the process of a tree and or forest being extremely healthy. Not only does the undergrowth serve as food for a lot of the animals, but that undergrowth also serves as a warm blanket during the winter months. The undergrowth of our personal lives is so important. You are not greater than anybody else. You never will be. That's, that's one of the things that, that we have to face in this world. That's what being humble is all about. It's about working with the undergrowth in our life and even things that are much taller and bigger than us. Becoming part of the surroundings that we are within is part of the growing period when it comes to who you are and why you are, so often people judge themselves because of their careers or what's sitting inside their bank account. That's not the way it is. Your placement inside the acceptance of your circle is who you are, but how are you going to feed what you are? I'm a daily writer just so I can listen to the heart that's always beating. I'm a thinker, a stream thinker, because so much is constantly moving through me. If I don't document it, I'm missing a lot of things. I'm trying to become a part of the underbrush, that that is there because of purpose. It, it really does have a reason to make you stronger. But you don't take advantage of that strength. You'll learn how to work with it. I love looking at this forest because the lake is, I can see the lake. It's right there. Beautiful lake very still. The stream is to my right with the tall grasses. Even though it's wintertime, the, still, the, the tall grasses are in their yellowish colors. The leaves are as naked as can be except for these beautiful white pines. The white pines are constantly green. The, the animals, the deer, the falcon. That I, I swear this falcon loves to play with me because when we're walking through the forest, the falcon is always diving down, around, always sitting there making itself known, working with the underbrush, working with what is present in your life. Be the silent watcher. Sit underneath the underbrush and just watch as things move about. And then ask yourself, how can I participate with this? Because in this world, 
There is love, peace, forgiveness, compassion. I'm Arrow. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.